This is a story about coral and the intersection between the land and the ocean. Corals are habitat formers and are at the foundational level for many nearshore ecosystems. The question examined is, does submarine groundwater discharge, or SGD, increase the abundance of coral in nearshore marine ecosystems? Submarine groundwater discharge originates as rainwater. It travels downslope until it reaches the coastline, where it can emerge as a freshwater spring underwater some distance from the shore. The mechanism proposed for this would be a lower water temperature, which could protect against higher water temperatures from global warming, followed by nutrient input from land-based sources. To test this hypothesis, my team chose a beach park in Hawaii's Hilo Bay. We paddled offshore for a short distance to random point locations within a specified boundary, and used a YSI probe to test the water temperature and salinity. We would then place a plastic quadrat on the same location and take a picture of the square. The pictures were formatted and uploaded to a service called CoralNet, which allowed us to identify coral percent cover within squares and other substrate types. We performed linear and logistic regressions and R, and we found... nothing. There was no significant correlation between salinity, temperature, or coral cover. So what does that mean? Was this all a waste of time? Maybe, but remember, it is still as useful to know what things don't affect coral as to know what does. It adds a data point, which can inform the direction of future science.